friends and welcome to another video. So Venice Film Festival is coming up and I bought a few outfits to have them with me there and also for some events that I have planned for September and uh, by sheer coincidence both dresses that I bought are actually green but they are very different dresses. So now. Uh, this is Arat and Boa. I've heard about this brand before but I've never bought anything from them yet because I always thought that they are kind of like similar to House of CB. Their dresses are really sexy and really they are not let's say there are not that many places you can actually wear their dresses because they're just too revealing but this one actually felt like because you can tie it around the waist and you can kind of put it slightly lower uh, like here or you can have it slightly more up and shorter when you have like a special evening or something so it, it felt more versatile this is not a sponsored video i bought these dresses by myself i didn't there's like no collaboration in, in going on uh, but a lot of website has this thing that when you buy something you can refer your friend and then that friend will have a discount and uh, I will get a voucher back as well so this is the same for Red and Boa I'm gonna post it in my community post so go in and see there if you want to take advantage of the discount quality wise this is polyester but it's like recycled and it's like recycled plastic bottles which really made me curious how it will feel this is a really really nice material it's kind of like combination between silk and satin but it's very thick you can see it here it's a very thick material uh, so it's definitely not flimsy I will have to kind of fix the shoulders because even though the sleeves are supposed to be very long I don't really like the look of that like you can't even see the top of my fingers so I'm gonna have to short like this is how it falls now and I want to shorten it to like here so I'm gonna fix it with my seamstress in the shoulders this is actually size L I was surprised because my usual size is always between like S and M it depends on the um, brand but this is so tight across the chest that I knew if I take M this will be opening all the time so I'm glad I took L it's slightly more loose but I like it this way and uh, for my body type I think this is actually the right size so I'm happy that I read um, all the size guides and actually got the proper uh, proper size both dresses that I got are green but they are very different dresses and very different shades of green this is the second dress and this is actually self-portrait and I'm pretty sure you've seen the style it's the skirt and a jacket but it's actually a dress and I chose it in the lime green color so it's kind of like something in between light green and yellow and it's such a princess dress because for me on my height it comes down to the ankles or if you're like very very tall like uh, six feet or something it's gonna be just like mid uh, calf um, but on my frame it falls all the way to the ankles and I love it I just want to play with the skirt all day long and uh, I have a few self-portrait dresses but most of them are quite old like three or four years so this is my first purchase of self-portrait dress um, in the new season so uh, there's a lot of tiny details you can see it here this is the button and then the belt is also covered with fabric so it's not just the pure leather it's so it's not a leather belt it's actually fabric belt this is made from wool combination it's kind of like a tweed and this is viscose I think and it is slightly see-through but it is underlined there's another skirt underneath so there's nobody can see anything when you're wearing this and again this was a surprise size wise so self-portrait as I'm sure you know if you bought it before this their sizes run really small I mean I'm usually in UK size a size 10 every UK brand that I have everything that I bought in UK all of them are size 10 apart from a few oversized items that I wanted it to be slightly more fitted so I took size 8 but I have nothing above size 10 and I didn't gain uh, like a lot of weight suddenly <laughs> so that was a bit of a surprise but I learned that UK 10 self-portrait which kind of should be European 38 not really it's more like 
really tiny 36 bordering on 34 it's really really small i cannot close it across my chest no way and it's very very tight so this is actually size uk 12. as you can see it is a bit roomy so it is a bit too big i think if if i could have it i, I should have size 11 but of course it doesn't exist because size 10 for sure the buttons would be opening all the time and the skirt would probably be like a bit tight on my waist but size 12 is just a little bit too big but i'm pretty sure we can fix that another interesting detail if you didn't know about this dress is how the buttons actually work because i always i thought it was just going to be the usual button you know you have a hole you have a button you push it through but it is actually this closure you can see it's it's a press on like this so even though it does hold it is pretty strong but this is exactly why it's important you do not choose a dress that is too tight across the chest because this it will open so fast you're gonna breathe in a bit too much maybe <laughs> and you're just gonna reveal maybe a bit too much so make sure when you are buying self portrait dresses if you haven't bought it before if you're not sure about the size uh, for me in my experience they run small so i always go size up in self portrait but that's just me maybe you know on your body it will be fine but just so you know and be prepared and another item i bought to take with a cocktail dress uh, for venice film festival is this bag it's gonna go with a specific dress that it's not here yet it's gonna come next week so I'm gonna show you the combination of the dress and the back in uh, one of the next videos this is stout Mina shoulder bag it has a really interesting design on the strap it's just plain black back it has a little engraved embossed logo at the bottom but if you don't know you will not be able to see it then it has a silver zipper and it has one pocket without a zipper inside you can carry this either on the shoulder the usual way and it looks pretty kind of sweet i think especially with like lighter colors or you can also carry it like this just in your head hold it hold it like this it's a leather bag i haven't been familiar with this brand before but there's a little story actually behind this bag so i chose the dress that i'm gonna show you dress that i saw first and then i saw the bag next to it and i was so intrigued about the bag i wanted to buy it of course on the side where they were selling the dress that didn't have this bag anymore so it took me about four days to track it down on the internet i was looking at photos researching trying to find it and you can also have this in cream version and it's on sale practically everywhere the cream version it's on farfetch as well if you want to look there but the black version is nowhere to be seen this bag came out last spring i think it was spring 22 uh, it's just impossible to find i managed to find it on one of the shopping sites but it was actually the last one so i'm not sure if you will be able to get especially in europe because this is american brand and even though they sell it over here it's just harder to track down especially after a year uh, a good year after it kind of came out so i'm really impressed with the uh, with this bag it's really really something special i'm gonna see how it's gonna hold up because you know i'm kind of used to chanel dior that kind of quality wise so we're gonna see how much this will last the price of a uh, stout it's in the range of pinko so their bags go between three and uh, six hundred euros depending on the size it also comes with a nice really good material uh, dust bag just in case you were wondering those are the few items that i bought specifically for venice film festival uh, for the kind of events i plan to have there and of course uh, in later on in september and uh, i'm gonna style it a bit uh, in my next video to kind of show you how i'm gonna be wearing these dresses with which shoes and which bags and things like that my mission is to find new brands or brands i haven't known before that are good quality and good price pinko is definitely one of them i'm definitely buying more from them especially bags now stout it's a new brand to me so i'm gonna wait a few months to see how this bag kind of holds up and then we'll see if this is gonna be a fixture in my uh, shopping habits or not because the thing is like i've said in many of the videos i used to buy chanel dior not ready to wear obviously i'm talking about bags and shoes and things like that um, but their prices are just so insane that i gave up on them quite a while ago now and i'm on the hunt on the brands that are still good quality but much better price because let's face it it's we all kind of reached a point in our life when we say no 
I'm not willing to pay that much on a back anymore so I'm gonna find alternatives and that's my mission so you're gonna see a lot more of that uh, in the future on my channel tell me which dress do you prefer the princess like or the more sexy one and of course um, have a fun day and I will see you in the next video